Hello, in this video, I am going to explain the rendering steps that are used in WebGL and ultimately in a lot of the other GLs as well, you know, WebGL, OpenGL, OpenGL, ES. Okay, so what you first do, so step one is to prepare the canvas and this is for drawing and you get the WebGL rendering context. Step two is you basically, you know, specify the geometry, you know, what you want to draw and you and store it in buffer objects. Step three is you create shaders and compile them and step four is what you do is you link the shader program to the buffer object so you link the shader program so it's these here for so the shaders the shader programs i call them so they they are the same thing i don't want to get any confusion link the shader program with the buffer objects and then finally you draw the object so draw the object and those are literally the main steps for rendering in webgl and opengl as well so you get the webgl rendering context or it could be an opengl context you specify the geometry and this is usually in the form of like an array and you'll have vertices so you know xyz coordinates so for a triangle you have three coordinates and then you and uh, yeah, yeah you'll have three coordinates for a triangle if you, yeah that's fine that's fine I, I, i'm gonna discuss something else that's something i'll cover in a later video and then what you do is you create the shader programs and you compile them and you'll have a vertex shader and a fragment shader. The vertex shader is basically where you specify, you know, all of the vertices, so essentially the shape. Fragment shader is where you essentially define the color, you know, text, you know, the way it's going to look, not the shape itself. And then you just link the program, the shader program, which just is essentially how you're going to be drawing stuff essentially and the actual buffer object which is what you want to draw you know in terms of the coordinates and then you draw it's just a simple draw array command which you know again we'll cover later on if you google you know the rendering pipeline or rendering steps or anything like that you will come across these type of diagrams so let me let me zoom out to, let me just yeah, let me zoom out a bit. So essentially, so you've got the JavaScript, you go to the shader, so the vertex shader, and then you do some assembly of the primitive, essentially, you know, if it's a triangle, you know, the shape of the triangle, and then you go to the fragment shader for the coloring, then the pre-fragment shader, and then finally the frame buffer to display it. And then we've got another one, this is another, like, very, very popular one, diagram, it may not be in this sort of, sort of you know, the way it's configured it might be configured like this but in terms of the, what everything is named it might be like this but essentially that's what we've just covered here so i don't want you to have any confusion of these steps to one of these diagrams so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video